Shalom Aleichem, sweetest friends. This year should be a special schus for Rabbi Shayim Mordechai Ezra Ben Rachel Dvora, Fur Shleima, Rabbi Yitzhak Ben Bracha, Rabbi Avram Yosef, Ben Moshe Chaim, Rabbi Yoshua Meir Ben Rachel Sara, Rachel Lea Bas Sara Lea Bas Rivka, Shalom Fur Shleim, Sach Shachal Yisrael, Chai Reza Bas Dina, and the schus. Harav Rav Yisrael Daniel Ben Shane Dina and the Vedavit Shukra Allah Ben Rachel Brachavat Slacha Bukhomasa Yudayam says in Paraklamid Pasak Vav Parshis Matos Vimeniya Vio Sabi Om Shamo Kol Nadreva Sarel Shah Sra Nav Shaloya Kum Rashem Yislach Laki Heniya Vio Sa that if the father revokes the vow of his daughter then the vows don't count. And God should forgive her because because her, her father revoked the vow. In the Sifri, in the Gemara Nazir, and Davchof Gimel Amid Aleph, it says that this Pasuk is talking about a case where the woman, the Pasuk we read was Pasuk Vav. The Sifri says it on Pasuk Vav. The, uh, the Gemara says it's later on we're talking about Baila, that her uh, husband revoked her vow and she didn't know that she requires kapara v'slicha. And when Rabbi Akiva got to this pasuk, he would cry. Because what happened? Her vow was revoked by her husband or by her father and she didn't know and she was over on the vow. She transgressed her words. So in such an instance, she needs slicha because she thought to do an avera. And when Rabbi Akiva would get to this pasuk, he would cry. If somebody intends to eat not kosher, and they eat kosher, they require forgiveness. So if somebody intends to eat unkosher, and he actually eats unkosher, so ha'achas kama v'kama, Certainly such a person needs kapara. Wow, to that person needs kapara. Not only if you intend to do an Averi and actually do it, you need kapara, but if you intend to do the Averi and actually did it, chas shalom, wow, what a kapara is going to be required there. So we have to understand, Lechora, why is this Indian mischadesh here, dafka, in the parish of Nidarim, somebody who is niskaving la'asos iser, va'ala biyado heter. This Indian is v'chol ha'isurim. Like we see in the Gemara, it applies to Pesar Chazir and Pesar Tle. So why was this taught to us Dafka here in the parasha of Nidarim? So Hagon Reb David Yitzchak Man in his deep air, in his always deep, profound, wide-ranging uh, approach, answers as follows in the Lav of Loyachel Dvaro that we see in Pasa Gimel, Rashi explains the Hainu, Kamaloyachalil Dvaro, Loyasa Dvaro Chulin. Don't make your words into Chulin. Lachor, we have to understand. A person speaks Chulin all the time, and the Torah is not so Makbid. So, why this Dibor Dafka, the Torah is Makbid, that he shouldn't make his, his Dibor Chulin? Why Dafka here? So in Pasuk Beis, it says, Vaidaber Moshe Roshi Amatos Bnei Yisrael Lemor in the Sifri Zuta. It says that this teaches us that Bnei Yisrael are over, are over on Bal Yachil. We are over on Aver when we transgress our vows. Ve'en Akum, but the Akum, the Ovdei Kochavim, are not over on Bal Yachil. And the explanation is <clears throat> that since Nidarim have Kedusha and even Me'ila, we paskin. Yesh me'ila b'konamus. If somebody makes a konam a neder, so it's and then he's over on the neder. It's me'ila. So that mamish gives it kedusha, and since the kedusha comes from the makdish, so we have to say that the makdish has a koach and inyan of kedusha, from which the kedusha goes on to the object, and this is the chelik hanesham of nefesh, the holy soul of the Jew. That's a chelik alokai mimal. And it's so holy that from it comes Kedusha 
on the neder, on the hekdesh that he made when he sanctified something to the Beis Hamikdash. And this only applies to the Jew, because the Akum doesn't ha- don't have the same level of Kedusha in their Neshamas, and therefore they can't be Mechil, they can't cause to devolve upon an object Kedusha. And Taka Bakache Akum ain't Me'ila, there's no Me'ila, there's no misappropri- of misappropriation of Kodshe Akum. And it could be that this is the reason. And Shavua So when when a Jew makes a neder, he's mechil, he causes kedusha to fall upon this object. And the same thing applies when a Jew uh, makes a hektesh. He causes the kedusha to fall on this object, to apply to this object. So this is because of the neshama of the Jew. It's not because of the kuf. And we have this special koach when we make a, a neder or a shvua. So, uh, so a neder we know falls on the object. We know a neder is a surei chefza, and we know that shvuas are the gavra. But since neder and shvua are in the same parsha, the same idea of taking an oath, also a shvua comes from the kedusha of a person. And therefore, we have this iser for an eder and a shavu of lo yachel dvaro. Don't make your words chulin. Because other words, other things, are anyway chulin. Because they come from the guf, that's chulin, that's secular, that's not, not so holy. But nedarim and shavu is come from the holy Jewish soul. And you're not allowed to make that into chulin by transgressing, by being over on the neder. And that's the love of bal yachel dvaro. Bal yachel dvaro is don't make your words into chulin. Because you made this object holy because of your holy soul. So don't take something holy and then violate it. And we see this Yisod in the fact that Hekdesh and Shruma are chala yidei machshava. One can create Hekdesh or Shruma even just by thinking it. And Neder, if not for the special pasuk of Levate Svasayim, like we find in the Gemara in Shavu Estav Chavav Amit Beis, we would also be able to do it be machshava. Otherwise, he would learn from Truman and Kachim that you could do it be machshava. But here we have a special pasuk, and the reason that it's chala yidei machshava is because, as the Nefshachaim explains, that the machshava is connected to the ruach and the neshama, and the actions of a person are ma'ase haguf. So for Maisa Haguf, you need you would need Dibur, which is Tsunuas Hasfasayim. That there has to be an action. But to create the Kedusha of Kedusha and Truma, to create the Kedusha of, of Kedusha of Truma and Kachim, that comes from the Nefesh. And the Nefesh is the Machshava. That's the acre place of the Nefesh. And therefore it's Chal Yide Machshava. Just when it comes to a neder and a shavuah, the pasuk revealed that we require a ma'ase, we require an actual dibur. So there, with the ma'ase guf, together with the das of a person, it's a ma'ase of das, and therefore the neder is chal through the nefesh and the das. But if not for the pasuk, it would just be with the machshav alone. But dibur that already involves something more physical. Like we've spoken a lot about the idea that dibur is the connection between the guf and the neshama. That's where they meet because it's Dibur is something physical that expresses the Neshama. So since Nadarim are Neshamadik, it should be without even without a Dibur. But we have a special Gilu Akra, we have a special revelation in the Pasuk that it requires Dibur. But it's coming from the Neshama, and therefore you can't violate it. And Truman Kachim, where we don't even have a Pasuk, that can be only with, with Machshav. You don't even need Dibur. So now let's take it uh, a step further. The Archaim HaKadosh, a famous Archaim in Parshish Vayichi, says in the Pasuk, when Yosef spoke to his brothers, 
Al Tiro, etc. Atem Chashavta Malayra, Elokim Chashava Tova. You thought for evil, and God, He thought for the good. Like, don't worry about it, my dear brothers. You had evil intentions, but Hashem had it all worked out. So everything is cool. So what does is, what is the Haile Gorachayim say? It's like somebody who intended to give his friend poison, and instead he gave him a glass of wine that he's not mischayev at all. So they're potter v'zakai b'dinei shamayim. They're off the hook completely because they didn't do anything. The mice they didn't do anything. In the Sefer Klichem, and many other Svarim, they're Tamei and they're Achayim HaKadosh. Look at the Gemara Nazir. The Gemara Nazir says, like we quoted before, that if you intended to do an Avera, and you ended up not doing the Avera, you need Slich and Kapara. And not only that, we see in Menachah Samach Dalet, that maybe you even need a Kapara, a Karban, in such an instance. So this, this is a big, big business over here, big deal. So how can the Yosef say he didn't do any Aver? Of course they did an Aver. They had, they had, they had, they had uh, bad intentions. And he says that don't say that this only applies to Ben Adam Lamakom and not Ben Adam Lachavero. So he, if you look in Tosis and Kedushan on Daflamet Beis, you see this Indian also the Gabe Mitzvah Kibbut Avain. Like just the bad intention alone is enough, which is Ben Adam Lachavero. The discussion of Kibbutz Avim's Ben Adam Lachaver or not? So the first Dibra, which is the Ben Adam Lamakom, the first of the five. And not only that, but the Archaim. So we won't get into that. So how are we going to answer this this Orachayim? How are we going to answer this Orachayim? Who says that Yosef's brothers didn't do an Avera. They did an Avera. They intended to do an Avera, and that's an Avera. As we see in the Gemara Nazir, and the Orachayim says they didn't do an Avera. So based on what we said, we can answer that the foundation of the Isser of intending to eat unkosher meat, and eating kosher meat, is because since it's a machshava that has a maisa, even though regarding the body, it wasn't a maisa iser, but regarding the soul, that he intended to do something bad, it's a maisa iser. Because the maisa had a das of iser. And for that you need slich and kapara. For that you need slich and kapara. Since this person intended to do Isser, in his mind, in his nefesh. And if so, we can say this is only mitzvahs that are special only to the Jewish people. And from the fact that B'nai Noach are not chayav, it must be that this is against the correct mitzvahs of the nefesh. And on this, B'nai Noach weren't mushar, because they don't have the same level of nefesh that the Jewish, Jewish person has. So since we come from a higher madrega, we're more responsible for our nefesh. And therefore, even b'machshava, we're going to be guilty. But if you have a mitzvah that applies equally to B'nai Noach, which is what the Archaim is talking about, those mitzvahs primarily relate to the goof. So if he didn't do it with the goof, you don't need slich and kapara. What type of mitzvahs do you need slich and kapara for if you just had a bad intention with the nefesh, with the soul, with the thinking soul? Those are mitzvahs that only apply to the Jewish people because we have more responsibility. We have a higher bar. But when it comes to mitzvahs that apply even to Musa Olam, they have less responsibility there. You have to actually do it with the goof. And the brothers didn't punish, didn't hurt him the goof in the end, because look at where he is now. 
You know, what about all the suffering all along? How do you explain that? And you know, Yosef says, no, 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 Hashem chashab ala tov, but all, all is well that ends well. But it's not true. He suffered a lot along the way. In any event, but according to Yosef's words, that in the end it, wor- it worked out for the best, so you're not going to be chapt, or Rechaim says in your machshava. Why? Because B'nai Noach aren't chapt, especially if you hold the Abbas had a din of B'nai Noach. And certainly mitzvahs that apply to B'nai Noach, you're not chapt, you're not punished for a bad machshava, only with only maisa. So now we understand very well why Dafkin Parshas Nedarim, we have this chiddush of slich and kapara when a person thought to do an iser and he ended up uh, doing it beheter, because the sort of the Indian of Nedarim, as we saw, was is that this soul that comes from above is a special mitzias by the Jewish people, and because of this mitzias, we can make a neder, and we can create this iser, we can create this kedusha. Konamus have a din meila, persis konam alai. It's like a carbon. As it's in Meila. So this is a this is this is, comes from the Nefesh. So we don't want to make our Nefesh, we don't want to make our holy soul into Khulin, into something unholy. So this would be the ideal place to teach the same Yisod about a person who thinks to do an Avera and doesn't end up doing it. That's also because this because in his Nefesh he sin, he sinned. In his nefesh, he was chosh of lasos iser. So all of biyado heter. See, right, the goof didn't sin, but we're not only nitzba on the goof. We're not only responsible for our goof. We're also responsible for our thoughts. So if a person just thinks to do an avera, then he doesn't get punished. If he's mitzarev, he makes it worse, and he does a maisa. In other words, he wanted to eat besar chazir, and he ended up eating besar tle, and he gets punished. So then you have this maisa together with the thought of the nefesh of doing an avera, and the warning of the Torah on of not eating chazir. It's also not to try to be eating chazir and do a mice of trying to eat chazir even though it's not chazir. Because we're responsible for our nefesh because this person had the bad thought in the nefesh and then with that bad thought in the nefesh he did it. He did what he thought was a mice avera. So the best place to teach that is in the parsha of Nedarim because the parsha of Nedarim is the same yisod. The yisod of parsha Nedar, parsha of Nedarim is that we have a holy nefesh and therefore we can create Kedusha on this object, we can create Yisra on this object, so too, Mikoch, the holiness of the Nefesh, we are not allowed to intend to do an Avera and try to do an Avera and do a Mais, even though if it ended up not being an Avera, it doesn't matter, but since in our Nefesh we thought we were doing the Avera, and we did a Maisa, uh, what we thought was a Maisa Avera, so there we're responsible, so therefore this is the best place to teach that lesson. And we should be so that all of our thoughts and all of our maizim should be pure. Amen v'amen. Shalom, shalom, sweetest and most beloved friend.